Unix timestamp is about to hit 1.6 billion this Sunday and the microwave in your kitchen is about to die. Hey Code Damp, Mehul here. And on January 19th, 2038, if you're from India, you're gonna just have a regular morning. You're gonna wake up, grab a cup of coffee, maybe go to the kitchen and start your microwave to warm your food. Except the fact that your microwave might just blow in your face. Similarly for your car, from the phone which you love from the 90s and all other electrical appliances around you. Why? Unix timestamp. Unix timestamp is a way how computers manage time. As humans, one of the worst architectural decisions which we have taken is calendars. Time is notoriously hard to manage both on computers and in day-to-day -day life and based on calendars, leap years, extra time added, daylight saving, all these things make it extremely hard for computers to manage dates effectively. So we came up with a simple solution. We're gonna say, hey, let's pick this date up, let's set it to zero. We chose our zero time to be UTC 000, January 1st, 1970. That means Unix timestamp, when it starts, from zero, it's actually saying that, hey, I'm on this particular day. The time it uses, it's denoted in seconds. That is, one second means one increment to the Unix timestamp. Computers store information in bits. That means one classical bit means either a zero or a one. In a lot of older computers, they used 32 bits to represent the Unix timestamp. 32 bits means 32 placeholders for the Unix timestamp to increment and give a new value. If you run a little math, you're gonna see that 32 placeholders means that the maximum time, maximum variation you can get is 2 raised to the power 32 seconds. So Unix timestamp can give you 2 raised to the power 32 different timestamp. But hold on, out of these 32 bits, the first most bit, which is the most significant bit, is used to represent if the number is positive or negative. If the number is positive, it's a zero. If it's a negative, it's a one. Now, technically, time could not be negative, but if you think about it, if you want to go before 1970, you can set the most significant bit to one, and whatever the other number represents, that is the whole 32-bit number, it's the time of the past. So it's sort of convenient to keep it like this in case if you want to have time before 1970. Unfortunately, two raised to the power 32 is not a very large number. Let's just go ahead and add two raised to the power 32 seconds to January 1st, 000, 1970. When we do that, you're gonna realize that we arrive at 19th January 2038, 3 in the midnight with 14 minutes and 7 seconds. UTC timestamp. On that particular time, we have actually run out of placeholders. That means every single digit is gonna be one in that particular placeholder, which is representing its maximum value, that is 2 raised to the power 32 minus 1, and it has exhausted all possible values. So you might think when you hit that time, the time restarts itself. You start again from 1970. Unfortunately, things go worse. What's gonna happen is that because you're using a signed placeholder for Unix timestamp, you actually and accidentally overwrite the signed bit. That means now you're running in negative time. And what does negative UTC timestamp mean? The dates beyond 1970. So your appliance is suddenly gonna go from 2038 to 1901 in an instant. And forget about your microwave, it's actually worse for cars, it's even worse for airplanes and any other time sensitive equipment which is using an older CPU. But don't worry, we have 18 years to find and fix these equipments. On a side note, the new computers which ship right now come with 64-bit Unix timestamp that does not really mean we got double the time but actually 2 raised to the power 32 times more time so 
there's nothing to worry about if you got a new Mac, a new iPhone, but if you got that old phone from the 90s, maybe you can just enjoy it till 2038.